So the ladies on various social media platforms have talked about the perils, the absolute frustration of getting male shoppers when they order food. So this um, this content creator, Winnie Bangsy says, as a man, why are you doing Instacart? Y'all suck so bad at it. Please stop. We are begging. Amazon is always hiring. And this got the ladies talking. This was a very funny thread. And we're going to go through some of the comments. And we're going to laugh and say, WTF, was he thinking? Latasia says, and they are more prone to steal. I had one Negro check out my order with everything in it. But then he sends me a text after he left the store to tell me one of my double meat, cheese, extra mayo, mustard, lettuce, tomato, peppers, onion subs wasn't available. Normally, they knock on my front door for my order. But this time, he put my stuff on the porch. I reported his butt immediately. And then when he says, you did right. That is what you have to do. We are emailing. We are texting customer service. We are calling customer service on these MFers because why do they even have these jobs if they're not going to do the job and they're going to steal? And then when he says, bring me flowers instead of flower is nasty work. This is why reading comprehension is so important, making sure that your children know how to read and understand the words. Monet says, I know you lying. DeAndre says, please say psych. But she says, I'm so serious. Carla says, I got K-cups instead of edamame. I mean, where is the correlation? Just no thinking skills at all. Use effing Google. I mean, we all have smartphones right in our hands. Come on now. Please do better. Mina says, recently talking to Janelle about this. Around my end, they've been really good. But once I was out of the country and my sister-in-law in North Carolina had my boys, I sent them a birthday party cake, candles, party hats, etc. Why this man drop off a movie night? Change the whole thing. Popcorn um, kernels and oil, nachos, cheese sauce, no cake whatsoever. I asked for dinosaurs for the gift. He sent Mr. Po- <laughs> he sent Mr. Potato Head. Uh, can't forget the two pillows I didn't ask for. It was raining and instead of placing them under the awning, he left them exposed to the rain. Happy birthday, son. What in the heck? And he says, oh, baby, he would have to see me. And Mina says, live it, I tell you, live it. Crystal says, my son realized his shortcomings. He stopped and started doing Grubhub. I'm sure the world thanks him. And then Natalie says, weaponized incompetence, but getting paid for it is pathetic. And when he says, and it needs to end definitely needs to stop and we need to be coming for their jobs. If they can't, if they don't have the sense enough to not get these jobs, we need to be reporting them for incompetence. Natalie says, I had a guy tell me that CVS was all out of tampons, all brands and all sizes. Yeah, right. He asked me if he could just get me a big bag of cotton balls. I said, sir, this ain't cigarettes. I can't roll my own. (laughs) Shakara says, because not they substituted my melatonin gummies for vitamin D pills. And when he says, now this would have angered me so badly. And Shakara responds with, I was so mad because they were for the kids. Like, why would you do that? Um, Michelle says, make sure you pick recommendations next time. And if they don't have it, I mean, it doesn't matter if they do that. Just don't bring it. Why would you, sub- what kind of substitution is melatonin for vitamin D? Allie says, and be acting like everything is out of stock when it's right there. They'll snap a photo and be like, they don't have it. It's all gone. Fatina says, I thought I was the only one who thought this. Kay says, when I was working in retail, a guy got mad at us because he bought doggy diapers for his newborn baby. Reading is so crucial, but how do you end up in the pet section for babies? Like, where is this? How how does this connect? Aaron says, like sending me the picture saying they don't have it with the thing I wanted is literally right in there. It's right there. You, you see that chicken? That's the one I wanted. She said it will literally throw her into a rage. 
Melria says, they keep picking the produce that look like they've been fighting for the sunlight out in the fields and gardens all their lives. <laughs> and Jessica responds to that, all bruised and 12 hours away from being fully rotten. And Jessica Renee says, as soon as you see a man shopping, it's like you know it's going to be at least two hours late, that half of your order isn't coming, and what does arrive is going to be wrong. And then when he says, one time I put in an order at 1 p.m. I didn't get it until 6 p.m. Callie Love says, or could be um, bundled two to three combined together. Yes, it takes about two hours. So she's giving them the benefit of the doubt. But she's talking about two hours late. So this is two hours from the time it's supposed to arrive. Ch um, Chioma says, they never look for anything. They will substitute everything. As for unscented baby wipes, he bought me makeup remover right wipes. Gabinga says cleaner is cleaner with the laugh emojis. Now, Zach had to let everybody know that he has a 4.99 rating. Like, good job, sir. High five. Chantel says, please, I had a guy bring me packed turkey lunch meat instead of smoked turkey wings. I was heated. I'm heated reading that because I'm sure she had something planned with those turkey wings. V. Esther says, I had a man that took care of my last Instacart order. He put spinach and strawberries in the same bag as ground turkey and pork chops. What the heck? Come on now. When he says, I hope you reported it. And V. Esther says, sure did. I was refunded a portion of that order. I claim my produce was contaminated. Katia says, they don't be knowing lettuce from cabbage, and it's upsetting me and my homegirls. <laughs> Absolutely. Kioma says, if I order produce and see a man, I'm rescheduling. Every experience has been truly bad. Princess Okisha says, my daughter's male friend left the cart in the middle of the store because the people requested something extra. <laughs> okay, now, here we go with the man weighing in. He's weighing in, and it has nothing to do with anything. Lashant says, long as a man can provide, doesn't matter what he does, everybody starts somewhere. This literally has nothing to do with what the women are saying, but that whole reading comprehension, it, it's apparent that it is very lacking in many aspects of today's culture. <laughs> and Natalie says to Lashant or Lachant, that's for your family, though. This is about... Your customers, if that's the kind of job you're doing, a person can't provide as well as he could be if getting low tips due to not correctly doing the job. That's why it's important to do work that you excel in so that we can provide the best we can. Then Lachant, still not comprehending the whole point, says, whoa, mama, I'm a master electrician. I'm good. But everybody does not possess that ability. Some people have to work their way into a point or just get tired of being at a point point to be better and that's not determined by how someone else feels about them but rather how they feel about themselves everybody needs inspiration not shame what does that have to do with anything jay moran says i only had one guy get all my stuff and even text me pictures of what the substitutes look like i gave him the biggest tip because he went above and beyond and um, Kira says there's a whole there's whole TikTok videos about that nonsense. And when he says it's a national crisis, these people must be stopped. They must be stopped. Anyways, weigh in. Have you had bad experiences with male shoppers? Please weigh in and let us all know. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Now I'm going to segue into this story. Angie Harmon used Instacart to order groceries before Easter. Now what happened was very tragic. The driver, the shopper, pew pewed her dog. Now the crazy part is she thought that she was communicating with a middle-aged woman named Miro. Well, a man is the one that shot her dog. So why was there even a man that was delivering her groceries? We have seen instances where men are showing up when um, when the account supposedly belongs to a woman and these gig drivers, these apps really need to get these things under control because women are not safe having these men pop up. Here's the full story. Please tell me what you think. Angie Harmon, yeah. who shared some very disturbing news on social media yesterday. The Rizzoli and Isles actor says over the weekend, a man delivering groceries for Instacart 
shot and killed her pet dog, Ollie. That is Ollie. Is that a current mm. picture of the dog? Uh, that's a current okay. picture. There's Ollie. Uh, she says police investigated, but let the driver go because he claimed it was self-defense. Mm. Harmon claims the man did not have a scratch or bite on him and says her family is beyond devastated. In a statement to our Charlotte affiliate WBTV, Instacart said it is saddened by the incident. It's in contact with Harmon and is cooperating with police. So It's so unfathomable to think that there is somebody in your front driveway that just fired a gun. This morning, the unthinkable. And you don't ever forget that sound. Actress Angie Harmon speaking out for the first time since a delivery driver for Instacart shot and killed their family dog, Oliver. I heard Emery screaming, my youngest Emery. I just heard her say, did you just shoot my dog? And I was like, what? Doesn't compute. And it, she just started screaming. I've played law enforcement for 30 years. It's different. It's just so different. It's so different. Harmon, the former Rizzolian Isles and Law and Order actress. List of property stolen from the Hagen home. Who was previously married to NFL great Jason Seahorn, had put a grocery order in through the delivery service for Easter Sunday. Harmon says she was communicating with the shopper Merle via text message. But on the other end of the phone, someone else. What about the idea that he was not a middle-aged woman named Merle? I think it didn't really hit us until later, and that's when we called Instacart. And they just were like, oh gosh, that's terrible. Well, you know, we'll see what we can do and we'll get back to you. I was like, no, no, you don't understand. Like, this man was claiming to be, a, like, it looked like we were talking to, like, a, a middle-aged, slightly older woman named Merle, who was talking to me and talking to me about my order. And that's and not who showed up at my house. After the groceries were delivered, a gunshot rang out. Harmon inside upstairs. Her daughters, 15-year-old Emery and 18-year-old Avery, ran to the yard screaming. Were you afraid of a man with a holstered weapon on your property? I think we were in such shock. I was screaming at Avery to call 911. And when I said that, he goes, he said, no, I'm calling 911. I'll do it. Your dog tried to bite me. I'm sitting here calling y'all. I'm texting y'all. I said, can you please put the dog up? Oh, I'm on the phone with 911 now. So the dogs went off. So I just tried to hang up and went on the porch, and the dog trying to bite me. So what am I supposed to do? When I'm left, I shot one of them. Charlotte Mecklenburg police arriving at Harmon's home, telling ABC News the driver told officers that a dog attacked him while he was at the residence and that he defended himself by firing a single gunshot, striking and mortally wounding the dog. Did you see any indication that he had been attacked? No. Any Not at all. Torn clothing? Nothing. No. Bite marks? No. With no charges filed and the case closed, Harmon says she wants answers. Her team filing a lawsuit against Instacart and the shopper, alleging criminal trespassing and negligence. What made you want to file a lawsuit? First of all, I think Instacart is beyond responsible for all of this. Like, this didn't have to happen. And, you know, the damages that it has done to our family. You did not on the couch, you're not supposed to be. I mean. ABC News reached out to Instacart, the company saying, while we cannot comment on pending litigation, we have no tolerance for violence of any kind, and the shopper account has been permanently deactivated from our platform. Was he ever aggressive with people? No. Mm -mm. Did he ever attack people? No. I order five Amazon packages a day, and it's never been an issue. How do you move forward after this? This definitely, you know, as hard as it is, and getting the word out there that people need to know that, you know, who they're talking to on Instacart is, is not necessarily who's going to show up at your house. Now, because the driver claimed self-defense, the case was closed. But Angie says Oliver's necropsy showed no signs of having bitten or violently attacked anyone. Now, Instacart says they use third-party background checks and take steps to verify driver's identity. And Instacart also says their policy does not allow for sharing of passwords or carrying of weapons. But, Robin, clearly, there's so much to sort out in this. Wow. There's still so much. But you can just see their anguish. Absolutely. You know, because, you know, your family pet. They become like family to you. Absolutely a member. Of